So you woke up today and you're probably like, damn, I'm getting tattooed today. Ready to, yeah, I know. It's uh, a little different than most days. <laughs> right? It's kind of like, well, this is not a regular day. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> damn. I, I forgot the feeling, like what it feels like to get your first tattoo. I don't think I don't think I cherish that enough. And well, it's, yeah, especially now I'm 47. What made you uh, want maybe, to get a tattoo? You know what? I've always wanted uh -huh. one. I always thought they were super cool. When did you really start saying, you know what? I'm gonna get a tattoo. Uh, probably about six months ago. Six months ago, yeah. that's when you were like, all right. Yeah, I'm that's when I started. To get a tattoo. I started looking. I started getting the idea, and I'm like, okay, that that's meaningful to me. Like, mm -hmm. I could I could do that. What was the story be behind the tattoo, so everybody can know? Uh, so I'm a, I'm an avid hiker. I'm, I'm a big big hiker and um, Yosemite is, is my favorite place. Like anytime my wife was like, hey, if you could be anywhere you, you want to be, where would you be right now? I'd be sitting on that freaking campfire on the Merced River and right in the Yosemite Valley because it's just incredible. I took Josh up to the top of Half Dome. I took my dad up there and it's, uh, it's no joke, man. It's 20 miles and- 20 mile hike. Up, uphill for, wow. for the whole way there and then, you know, easier on the way back, but <laughs> uh, my, so my son, he's like nine at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, we do this hike. We start at like six in the morning. We get back at like six at night, basically. Ooh. He freaking gets on his bike and starts riding around the campground. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're getting a tattoo. That's it. Wow. And your first tattoo. That's right. And an outer sleeve. <laughs> That's right. Go big, man. What a day. Go big. Oh <clears throat> man. You got that tan going on. Yeah. <laughs> That's like right here. I know. The, I might use that uh, as like the water reflection right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's already done for me. It's you. already done for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be using a new product today. It's called the uh, uh, Jesus Juice Stencil Magic. That sounds magical, man. Uh, the higher level is uh, gave me this new product that they currently have in their stores. And so day one today, we're gonna be focusing on the arm area. Day two, we're gonna be doing the forearm. All right, I'm gonna have you uh, relax your arm as much as you can. Even if you relax your arm, like your arm is very defined. <laughs> I'm like, relax, <laughs> relax your arm. <laughs> the main focus of, of this stencil, or, or the whole tattoo in general, we gotta make sure that you can see the mountain, the bridge, and the reflection in the water. Oof. That looks so sick. Super dope. Go ahead and check it out. Make sure you like the placement. Yeah. Oh. I mean, that, that's, that's just the stencil. And that really looks like there's a reflection there. I'm, I'm done, man. Thanks. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I'm excited. You're excited? Nervous. Nervous? A little nervous? Yeah. A little butterflies on your stomach? A little bit. <laughs> on the bottom. Okay. Take me through your thought process. How's that? No, no problem. No problem, huh? It, was it what you expected? It's way less than what I expected. You're probably preparing your, your brain to be like, that's gonna hurt. I thought, yeah. That's awesome.
kind of looks like an afro now. Yeah. Got to get into character. <laughs> I'm not a good actor, just realized. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of uh, The Joy of Painting. Now, in today's episode, I have my client here who is getting a, an outer sleeve, a majestic, meticulous, beautiful outer sleeve for his first tattoo. Very incredible. It's amazing. Someone who comes in and decides to get such a project, such a huge project for the first time. So it's going to be quite an experience. So let's have fun and, uh, and let's enjoy this. So first thing is first, I'm going to grab my uh, seven round liner. And I'm going to start with this happy little tree here. Now, as you can see, my stencil is very simple. I like the freedom. I like to feel the freedom. <laughs> I'm gonna start here with my seven round liner with a voltage of um, 5.0 and very slowly start doing a clean line to create the illusion that is the trunk of the tree. It requires a lot of practice. So please grab your machine, your needles and your setup. Grab a client and follow along with me. And even if you are not feeling it, even if you don't know the direction of the tattoo. Just keep going at it and have fun with it. Have a lot of fun. Because remember, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. Now let's continue with adding happy little leaves around this majestic tree. And the technique that I'm doing is just having fun, adding dots cross hatching. I'm doing scribbles. The pattern that I'm following is not a pattern. It is me making decisions as I go. Now for everyone that has having trouble with trying to figure out how to do certain techniques to create this illusion, just remember in your world you are the best artist. You get to dictate what you want to do with your painting. <laughs> you are the artist that gets to decide the direction of this tattoo. And now keep doing the same thing. Be spontaneous. Be free. Be you. Because in your world, you are the best. And in my world right now, I feel like this tree requires a lot of attention because out of this tree, it's gonna determine the direction of the whole entire tattoo. And it's also gonna determine how the other trees are gonna look like. So this little tree here, this little tree is the leader. Now there's a lot of trees here, and the reason why is because every little tree needs a friend. A little happy tree friend. Everyone needs a friend. The trees, the bushes, the bridge, and the water. <laughs> <laughs> No, you go lie, I'm inspiring myself right now. Have fun with it. Go here, go there. Sa 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 sa. Now I'm applying with my seven liner solid black. And I'm applying it in this in this way because it is allowing me to add a lot of little details. And that concludes with today's episode on how you tattoo a tree. Happy little tree. God bless you and I'll see you next week.
catch you sleep? I slept great. Yeah? Yeah. I was tired, dude. As soon as I got home, uh -huh. I get in and I'm like, <laughs> and I oh, start shaking like, yes. I'm like, oh my God, I'm freaking cold, man. <laughs> All right, so I have a bonfire here. <laughs> Jesus juice. Mm -hmm. Once again, stuff. honestly, I really liked it. Really, really liked it. I mean, the stencil was there you, until Stay you there shower, all, huh? Yeah. God damn. It was there all day. <laughs> I was wiping all day. The stencil didn't go anywhere. Sam, so I'm going to have you stand up. Mm, no, that needs to be up. Okay. I need to put it up there because now it looks tiny. Let's see. Turn this way a little bit. There you go. Okay. That's a way better placement. But now I feel like I can go bigger than that. And then for this one, I'm going to have you stand up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have you doing squats and That's everything. All right, yeah. <laughs> Damn, all right. So I put a tree trunk on the ground and it just gave me trees. <laughs> Not even like a tree trunk on the ground laying there, but just a fallen, a fallen tree trunk. Does that make sense? A fallen tree trunk? No. Now it looks. Campsite log. Campsite? Log. What is it? Log? What he spelled it? L O G. <laughs> oh, damn. Like logging in? Like I'm going to log in? Do you know how to spell CPR? Tom <laughs> week. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> so the idea is because we we made the whole design to fit the whole outer sleeve. Now since we have I guess I when I put on the bonfire stand, so I realized that the bonfire cannot be bigger than this, because then it's gonna take away from the dimension of the whole thing. Plus I want the rocks to show, so you don't want to take that away either. Because uh, the rocks are a big part of the bonfire to make it all come together. Damn, that was my that was my shoulder. <laughs> that, that was my. Sh <laughs> I need my shoulder. I need that to <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So what we ended up coming up with was a tree trunk, a log. Damn, you should have been here yesterday, Kenny. I was Bob Ross. I dressed up like Bob Ross to do the happy little trees. You did. I did. The ring of freaking afro? Huh? Yeah! Well, I had a beanie and I made it into an afro. Afro? Afro? Afro. Oh, I was like, I'm gonna do Bob Ross today. And I went in, bro. I was over here like, oh, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. <laughs> you get to see it next week on YouTube. Right? Bro, yeah, you're gonna see it. <laughs>
about I would say five minutes from I need five more minutes to finish how do you feel good I feel cold <laughs> <laughs> how was uh, your first experience getting tattooed uh, my first experience was awesome I'm glad I did the research needed man oh, it yeah really paid out I think that uh, my favorite part is uh, the squirrel for sure yeah that squirrel man what, what would you say was like the most painful part about your I tattoo? I think the elbow part was... The elbow was bad? Yeah. You won't even flinch it though. <laughs> well, I'm not going to let you know, but <laughs> if you ask me, I'll tell you. Oh, damn. When, before we started tattooing, did you, or bef the day before, were you kind of like nervous that you were not going to make it? No, no, I was... Uh, uh, you were like, I'm going to make I'm making it, it. yeah. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I, was, I already knew that. Oh, I got a question for you. What would you tell the people who are thinking about getting an outer sleeve or a big tattoo for their first tattoo? Uh, I would say if you even are thinking about it, start start putting it together or uh, at least have some ideas and bring them in because I just had a couple ideas and man, it went off from there. And uh, trust your artist. What if they feel scared that they feel like they're not going to make it? We all feel scared and, and nervous and excited. That's part of the deal. Mm -hmm. I will finish up this video by uh, um, imitating Bob Ross one last time. Here we go. So here on the area next to the bonfire, I am now adding some tall grass. It is setting the tone for a very happy relaxing place by adding these little details it definitely makes me feel like I can spend the weekend in this warm bright bonfire sitting with my friends sitting with my family and relaxing and I feel like we all need a weekend like that so always make sure to uh, enjoy yourself take care of yourself eat good drink water and stay hydrated. Peace. <laughs>